Sam Pitroda, father of Indian telecom revolution, father of Indian digital revolution, I would say, was talking to students the other day. And he advised them two things. One was not to listen to their parents and the other one was not to listen to their teachers. As I was lucky to interact with him to get a clarification on what he had pointed out, it was made clear he is not advising youngsters to go against the parents or to the teachers. What he is telling is pointing out the inability of teachers and parents to guide the children to match with the latest technology, the advancement, the way the world progress. An updated youngsters and outdated parents, upgraded youngsters and uh, outdated teachers. We are doing the same thing which we were doing for centuries. The time has changed. The classrooms is still remain the same. The chalk and the blackboard and the teacher who is very much afraid of the advanced youngsters. We should change the classrooms. The students can get the lectures over internet. Digitally things can be transferred to them. They can come prepared to the classrooms and what they were doing at homework, they can do at the classroom. The classroom should become interactive and then they should go to the real market to check what they have learned. And the learning, teaching process has to change tremendously. Teachers and parents should learn to guide from behind, allowing the students, youngsters, to create the path that they would like to travel. It is easy to travel in a path which is created by somebody. It is difficult to create your own path and progress in your path. Today's youngsters are very dynamic. So the great Sam Pitroda told the youngsters to listen to their inner voice and to go ahead with their dreams. And they have everything required to fulfill their dreams. I wish the youngsters to come forward and utilize their time, their dynamic energy and the team spirit and the massive number of students available for huge campaigns put together. Micro initiatives and macro campaigns put together, things can do great. Human body is out of trillions of cells. When come together, we become powerful. Disintegrated, we become weak. So we should have each student, each youth should come up with their programs, their projects. While implementing, they should take help of others. And in return, they should help others to fulfill their dreams. So it's a give and take policy. You come out with your project and all others will help you to fulfill your project. And the other persons, each one will come out with their own projects and all others will join hands to help them. This is the model of growth today. Come together, work together, progress together. And we are the people who can make the change. We doesn't require external capital support, the human capital, the resources that we have, the unutilized space, the large number of mentors who are willing to guide the youth, all put together, we can create miracles. And the miracles should happen at every city, at every village, 
nothing called national level. When things repeat at every city, it becomes a national campaign. When things repeat, progress happen at every village, it becomes a national campaign. Let each one of us make our contribution and the nation achieve its goals. No more depending on false promises, no more, no more depending on someone's uh, offer to convert and promote all those things. I will do my bit and get others supporting me while I am supporting them. The give and take, the togetherness as a nation, the, the unity in diversity. This is going to guide us, this is going to help us.